I woke up one sunny morning, feeling a sense of excitement in the air. It was my anniversary, and I knew my wife, Emily, had something special planned. We'd been married for two wonderful years, and she'd always surprised me with creative and heartfelt celebrations. Little did I know, this year would be unlike any other. After a delicious breakfast, Emily led me to our bedroom. She had a mischievous twinkle in her eyes as she handed me a beautifully wrapped box. I eagerly tore off the wrapping paper to reveal an exquisite dress. It was elegant, with a flowy skirt and a lovely pattern. But it wasn't just any dress, it was a dress for me. I was both shocked and intrigued. Emily explained her plan to celebrate our anniversary in a unique way. She wanted me to wear the dress for the day, as a symbol of our bond and to break free from societal norms. I was hesitant at first, but I trusted her, and her enthusiasm was infectious. With Emily's help, I slipped into the dress, and it surprisingly fit quite well. She giggled as she buttoned it up, making sure it was snug but not too tight. It felt strange to be dressed this way, but I couldn't deny the genuine excitement in her eyes. We spent the day together, going for a leisurely stroll in the park, enjoying a picnic, and visiting some of our favorite places. It was a surreal experience as I walked hand in hand with Emily, dressed in the dress she had chosen for me. Strangers glanced our way, some with curious looks, but most simply smiled and appreciated the love that was so evident between us. As the day went on, I began to appreciate Emily's message behind this unusual celebration. It wasn't about gender roles or stereotypes, it was about embracing our love and the uniqueness of our relationship. I felt a deep connection to her, and it was liberating to challenge the norms that had sometimes restricted our expressions of love. By the time the sun set, and we returned home, I realized that our anniversary had been one of the most memorable and meaningful days of our relationship. The dress became a symbol of our love and acceptance, and I was grateful for the experience. As I changed out of the dress, I looked at Emily and thanked her for a day that I would never forget. We cuddled on the couch, feeling closer than ever, and I knew that our love would always be marked by the beautiful day I spent locked in a dress, celebrating the unconventional but genuine bond we shared. As we cuddled on the couch, Emily had a warm, loving smile on her face. She took a deep breath and looked into my eyes, her words filled with sincerity. There's something I need to confess, she began. I've always found your femininity endearing, and I've been hoping you might be open to exploring it a bit more. I was a bit taken aback but eager to understand what she meant. Emily went on, I love the way you embraced wearing that dress today. It made me realize that I would like you to be your feminine self more often when we're at home. I want you to feel free to express that side of you, and I'd love for you to be my feminine partner. Her confession surprised me, but I could see the honesty and love in her eyes. After a moment of contemplation, I nodded and said, I trust you, Emily, and I'm willing to explore this with you. If it makes you happy, I'm on board. Her face lit up with excitement, and she hugged me tightly. Thank you, you're amazing. She exclaimed. We can start by going shopping for a feminine wardrobe for you. I'll help you pick out clothes that you feel comfortable and beautiful in. A mix of emotions ran through me, curiosity, nervousness, and a newfound sense of adventure. The idea of shopping for feminine clothes was both exhilarating and a little intimidating. Nevertheless, I knew that our love was strong, and I was willing to take this journey with Emily. The next weekend, we went to a nearby boutique specializing in women's clothing. Emily guided me through the store, helping me choose outfits that would suit my style and comfort. She was patient and understanding, making the experience enjoyable. As we selected dresses, skirts, blouses, and accessories, I couldn't help but feel a sense of liberation. It was a different way to express myself, and it was exciting to share this aspect of my life with Emily. We even found a few outfits that we both loved. Over time, our home became a place where I felt free to explore my femininity. I dressed as a woman when we were together, and it became a natural part of our lives. Our relationship deepened, and I felt more connected to Emily than ever before. Our unconventional journey taught me that love knows no boundaries and that true happiness can be found in embracing one's authentic self, even if it means challenging societal norms. As time went by, our roles at home continued to evolve. 
Emily's career had taken off, and she was now in a high-ranking position that required her to dress in elegant, feminine suits with trousers and high heels. She radiated confidence and power in her professional attire, and I couldn't have been prouder of her accomplishments. In contrast, I had quit my job to fully embrace my role as a homemaker and embrace my newfound identity as a woman. I found satisfaction in caring for our home, keeping it immaculately clean, and preparing delicious meals for Emily when she returned from work. I had become a skilled cook, experimenting with various recipes and ensuring that her favorite dishes were always on the menu. Each day, I made it a point to get myself ready as if it were a special occasion. I put on my favorite dresses, carefully applied makeup, and styled my hair. It was my way of feeling beautiful, not just for myself, but for Emily as well. Our evenings together were filled with laughter, conversation, and shared moments of joy. As the only one in a skirt at home, I felt a unique sense of femininity, and it was empowering in its own way. Emily appreciated the effort I put into looking my best, and she often told me how much she loved coming home to a partner who made her feel so cherished. Though our roles may have shifted, our love and connection remained strong. I relished the opportunity to support Emily in her career and to be the loving housewife she desired. Our unconventional dynamic had brought us closer, teaching us both the value of understanding, acceptance, and love beyond the boundaries of traditional gender roles.